Hello and welcome to HumanPal. In this video, I'm going to give you a complete tour and walk you through creating your first video step by step. Let's create our video. Hit create video in the header. And we're on step one, choose video type. Now these are all the different types of templates in the app. You have green screen, slideshows, isometric, typewriter, underline, mockups. Let me hover over, make a little animation to kind of see what it's going to look like. I click on one of these, see the different types inside. These are all our mockups where you'll be able to put your media onto laptops and phones and tablets. Let's choose this box static. Click next. Now for this one, there's just one type blank canvas. It'll be the same. It should be a template with some block text. Like this. It's our only option. We go to the next step. Choose avatar. You can see here are all the different avatars that are available in the app. You can hit the preview link to get a little video preview what they'll look like in action. For this tutorial, we're going to do a dentist, so let's choose Lena Medical. Sure. Well, go to the next step. Choose voice or TTS. We have two different sources for the audio in our video. Let's look at this one first, import audio. Now here, we're able to upload an audio file that either we make ourselves or we have someone make for us. Put it into MP3 format and we'll upload it. So first we'll need to choose a language because it needs to know what language that's in. You will select it from the library and upload the audio file to your computer. We'll transcribe it to give you the written script. So that's one option. The other option is to let it generate our audio for us. Anything we type in using text-to-speech. Let's see again, we choose a language so we can have different spoken languages. We choose our voice. All kinds of different voices here. We hit the little play button to get a preview of what the voice will sound like. Hello, you can pick me as your spokesperson for your next project. I can convey your message. That sounds good. We can paste in our script. Let's hear it. If you are in need of a dentist, you probably have a... Okay, now you can see there's also an auto translate button. So let's say we needed this to be German. All we do is we choose a German language, a German voice, hit auto translate. Let's preview this. Wenn Sie einen Zahnarzt benötigen, haben Sie... There we go, our German script. Let's change this back. English, Isabel, and our script. Now we also have a volume slider for the voice. At 50% right now. now. There's also a speed and pitch, so we can make, pitch this up or down, make it deeper voice or higher voice, and make it talk slower or faster. Now for some voices, this option isn't available. You can see here it's disabled. In other voices, it's enabled on. Look over here, we have background music. Uh, music to play behind. See, there's a bunch of built-in music. We can play it. And there's also the option to kind of match this to make sure our music isn't too loud. So we can play combination. So I'll play both the speaker and the background music. And we can adjust the sliders to get the right combination. Do you accept my insurance or even do you perform the advanced procedures that I need? We of course, we're not limited to just these tracks. We select from the library and we can upload our own music. Let's turn this off. Okay, let's go to the next step. Step five, text position. You see now it's taken our script and it's split it up into the individual slides that are gonna become part of our final video. Each slide has a character limit, see here. Now you can make adjustments if you want to move part of a sentence from one slide to the next, but generally you don't need to change this and it's easier to change this 
later on in step seven. There you'll actually be able to add slides and delete slides. So let's go to the next step. Step six, video settings. This is where we can customize things specific to our video template. Now, if you recall, this was box text. It had that text in a box. We can customize the colors of that. So instead of white text, we could have yellow text. Instead of a black box, we could have a blue box. There's also the option for a company logo that'll burn a little logo into the bottom corner of your video. You can upload it, upload it from your PC. All good here. Next on to step seven, create your video. Now here's where we'll do most of the customization in our video. Now it's taken all those slides I generated and put it down into this timeline on the bottom. Let's see here, slide one, two, three, go all the way to the end. See, we've got eight different slides in our video. Each one of these slides that shows how long the slide is, we can play it. If you're in need of a dentist, you probably have a lot of questions. A little preview, we've got the text from the slide. We can rearrange the slides. I just want to swap two slides. I can hit the little double-ended arrow here. Let's move that one to the front and this one second. Swap them back. You can also drag and drop the slides. Move that there. Move it back. I can insert a slide, so if I want to add a new slide between these two. Now I have a new slide. We can edit a slide, change the text. And we can always delete the slide as well. Yes. You can see up here, this shows the details for the currently selected slide. So scene one selected here, here's the text from the slide. Here's the edit delete button we just used. We have avatar positioning controls. See, it automatically distributes the avatar randomly around. Gives a nice blend. Say this one didn't come with an avatar, but we want one. Let's set to none. Set this to left. Set this to right. We also an apply option. So if we always wanted the avatar on the right, we can hit apply all. And now they've all moved to the right. Now, some videos, the mock-ups specifically, the ones with all the laptops and screens, those have specific layouts. So those are all pre-programmed, so you won't be able to change the positioning on those. It'll automatically put the avatar in the appropriate spot to make sure it doesn't overlap a screen. So the other setting for each slide is, you can see right now we just got a white background, but we have a background media. You can change this. And we have my files. These are files that you upload yourself or that you've used previously in other projects. Available here, so you can upload in your own. Or we also have these three different online royalty-free databases where you can find whatever image you need. So for example, since we're doing dentists here, I can come to Pixabay, search for dentist, the option for image or video, and a template. And come in, I can pick this image. See if I like it, select and it's added. I want to use the same one for all. Hit apply all. I can clear an image if I said I didn't want it. Let me apply all. It's good. Choose another one here. Image I used previously. You see there's also a couple of different options here. We can remove the background. We just wanted this face here. Well, it's kind of removed at all. You can use that. Other options, we can come in here. There's a crop edit. So we could take just a specific part of the video and zoom in, close up of our face. We can also lock the aspect ratio. That makes it stay, make sure that it doesn't stretch your image or deform it. You can also rotate the image around. Zoom back out, you can kind of see that. 
a bunch of different ways to grab a specific part of the image. Let's go back out of this though. Let's not apply that. Last thing to show you here is the custom human pal option. And we have a separate video on this, but basically you'll be able to replace the face of the avatar with another face, either your own face or one that you generate in the app, which I'll show you in a little bit. Basically, we can take this face, any face we upload, generate, and put it onto this character, replace our existing face. This all looks good, so let's proceed to the next step. Step eight, finalize our video, and basically we just type in the name of our video. Just leave the resolution as is. We'll make a 1080p video. We need to agree to the terms of service. Click the link to read those. Create the video. And we're automatically taken to this My Videos tab right here. My Videos. And here you can see our previously made videos. Search for them. Type the keyword so when you have all kinds of videos, you can quickly find the ones you want. Each video has different properties. You can play the video, so after you've rendered it, you can play it, see it in a pop up. You can download the video to your PC. There's an edit button that will bring you back into the wizard and let you modify the video. Make a change to the script or the voice or change one of the images in the slide. Make any change you want and it will re render it, and replace the existing one. This next option is clone. Now it's similar. You know, Go back into the wizard, you will edit it. When it's done, it'll make a new video based on those new settings and leave the original intact. And there's also an option to delete the video if we don't need it anymore. Let's take a look at some of the other options up in the header here. AI human photo generator. I'll just give you a quick preview of this. We have another video. This is for that face swap that I showed you in step seven where we can choose different emotions, different genders, age ranges, eye colors, hair color. It'll generate faces for you. These are all AI generated. They're all completely unique and royalty free. So we can take a face that we like, we can save it, and it'll be available for us to face swap with. You have my purchases, this shows what we've purchased, what upgrades we've purchased, with an access button to be taken to the tutorials members pages. More details on how to use them. Also, we have the support link. So take you to a web page that gives our contact information if you need help. Tutorials, that's uh, the page you're on right now. We have our account name here with a menu. Underneath it, we have log out to log out of our account. My account, here we can update our name, our phone number, and if we need to change our password. Finally, the last option here is our color scheme. We got our, now we're in the light theme, but if it's late at night or we just like dark themes, you can switch on dark mode here. That's it. It's been a quick tour of the Human Pal app. Thanks for watching.